Hello, this is Peter Ratson from Your College Concierge, and I'm coming to you today because I want to share a story that happened yesterday. Uh, this was a conversation I had with a mother, a concerned mother of a 12th grade daughter who is a very high achieving student, and the mother's concerned about her daughter's admissions prospects and financial aid prospects, and so she wanted to talk to somebody. She had some questions, and she wanted to sit down and have a chat with someone who could help her. So the first thing she did, as many parents would do, is she tried to schedule an appointment with her school counselor. And the college counselor at her child's high school explained to her that it would be mathematically impossible for them to schedule the meeting. So let's think about that, right? Mathematically impossible to schedule a meeting with the school counselor. Now, I'm not here to bash school counselors. I have a lot of sympathy for school counselors who are overworked, underpaid, they have too many students, they don't have enough time in the day, there's not enough time in the school year to accommodate the many hundreds of students, in some cases over, th over a thousand students, to meet with and to provide the guidance that each individual student is going to need and deserve in order to find their way to the next level beyond high school. And so in this particular case, mathematically impossible was the clear and direct words that, that this counselor gave. Now, I know this particular counselor. I've met with him. I've worked with him a few times. He's a good guy. He is sincere. Uh, he is kind and generous. Uh, but frankly, he's telling the bare bones truth that it is mathematically impossible for him to be able to meet with all of the students that he's working with. And I've seen this not just at this particular school, but at other schools in the community. He's got about 500 to 600 12th graders that he's working with. Uh, in, that's the average across the state of Florida, is about 500 to 1 student to counselor ratio. Those numbers vary across the country. In fact, the recommended number by the American School Counselors Association is about 250 to 1, which frankly, if you ask me, is still very high and is, not, is too high for counselors to be able to offer the, the, the quality guidance that students are going to need. So. If you're in a similar situation and you're feeling a similar frustration where you're not able to get access to your guidance counselor and you're looking for some good recommendations, some good guidance on the college admissions process, on the financial aid process, I would invite you to check out our website, check out the link below where you can download a free guide on financial aid, on paying for college, and understanding the nuances of obtaining scholarships and need-based financial aid, how there are opportunities available to all families regardless of income, both on the need-based side as well as on the merit side, and that all schools do discount. So I invite you to go ahead and check that out, uh, and uh, hopefully you will get the information that you need and you will be able to get the guidance that you and that your family deserves.